You see, Los Angeles and I didn't exactly click. I was thrilled to bid it farewell. But then, as we left the city behind and our road trip unfolded, it felt like a breath of fresh air after the urban jungle. Driving from LA to Santa Barbara is like getting over a migraine headache. It was a relief, and I could finally breathe. My heart raced as it hit me. This was just the beginning of our adventure, the real deal. Once you get past Ventura, it's one of the most gorgeous and satisfying places to drive around in the entire country. Billboards are banned, the roads are extremely well-maintained, and there are no high-rises to block the view. When we left the car and started walking around the city, it felt like an old Spanish neighborhood. Over the years, Santa Barbara has become a melting pot of cultures, thanks to Native American, Spanish, Mexican influences. That cultural cocktail is evident in the city's art and architecture. Speaking of history, the Santa Barbara Pier has a legendary story of its own. Over its almost 150-year history, it has seen more changes than a Hollywood star's wardrobe. When it first graced the coast in 1872, ships ruled the trade routes. Then, in 1878, the railroad came to town, revolutionizing the game. There was even a unique triangular track built to transport lumber to and from ships on flat cars. It's a historical journey that you can still experience today as you stroll along the pier. Fast forward to 1782, when the Spanish swooped in and gave the US the Presidio of Santa Barbara and the famous Mission Santa Barbara. The mission's architecture is so charming that it even made a cameo in the TV show Santa Barbara, which many visitors flocked to see. And even though the TV show with the name of Santa Barbara wasn't shot there, the opening titles pay tribute to the city. Now, let me introduce you to the Santa Barbara Courthouse a breathtaking spectacle that claims its place as one of the most stunning and photographed public buildings in the United States. With its Spanish Moorish architecture, lush gardens, and the iconic El Mirador clock tower, it's like stepping into a historical fairy tale. Some have even called it the most beautiful government building in America. Now, for a fun fact, just in case you're from America and enjoying an avocado toast right now, pay some respect to this stunning city because Santa Barbara introduced avocados to California in 1871. The love for this green gem still thrives, celebrated every year in Santa Barbara County at the California Avocado Festival. Santa Barbara, often known as the American Riviera, isn't just a pretty face. With its Mediterranean climate and a population around 90,000, it's like a small town paradise with a touch of class. Now, let's talk dollars and cents. Living in Santa Barbara is like combining paradise with a hefty price tag. The median household income? Well, it's around $75,000. And let me tell you, with those real estate prices, I'm not sure how anyone pulls it off. Though I must say it's not just a California puzzle, it's a head scratcher for the whole country. You know, I've got a soft spot for all things cinema, considering my gig in the video production biz when I'm not busy making videos for you. And guess what? Santa Barbara has a knack for making Hollywood a bit envious. It's not just a backdrop for films like Sideways, The Graduate, and It's Complicated. No, it even had a whirlwind romance with the silent era of filmmaking, back when movies didn't have much to say. But here's the twist. Santa Barbara hasn't lost its cinematic charm. Today, it's the proud host of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. The festival rolls out the red carpet for films that often end up as Oscar contenders, 
happening right in the middle of awards season. It's a chance to catch some of the most eagerly anticipated and critically acclaimed films of the year. There you have it, folks. Santa Barbara, a city that's ready to charm you. Whether you're a film buff, a beach lover, or just looking for adventure, Santa Barbara's got it all. I wish I could stay longer, but more amazing places await on our road trip. So, grab your camera and sense of wonder, because this city is a real star. Until next time, safe travels.